Right. <coughs> oh, I better turn the fan off. Um, excuse me, lads, a second. Um, okay. Um, all the stitching is done. Um, sorry, lads. You know, I'm just so used to. I just got carried away, and uh, it's done. Uh, you know, it, it don't take me long. And by the time I'd have put the camera and set it, I'll, I'll have done it. So I just did it. Um, right. Next process I'm going to do here is um, oh, you can see the stitching. That's what you want. You don't really want big gaps in between your stitch line. I don't. I'm not. I'm not real keen on that look, to be honest. But. Um, you know, you want it as small and as tight as possible, really, with a nice uh, flowing line. You don't want massive gaps in between the stitches. Um, anyway, so what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to add a tiny little bit of dye in the inside of these. So when the Chicago screws go in as well, they'll burnish. For one, it'll look a little bit neater. I've got to get a better video camera than this camera. I mean, it takes great pictures, it's just not the best at videoing. Um, the lighting here is not the best, neither. Right. Okay. Carry on. Just a little bit of dye inside those holes, it will neaten them up a little bit and when I come to put the screws in, like I say, it will um, it'll actually burnish the inside. Um, it's a bit like, um, you know, with the steel if you've reamed the hole out, I suppose. Um, it will just be nice and slick for that Chicago screw, it will just be a lot neater. You know, I'm all about that neatness. With this OCD of mine, it... right? I just couldn't send stuff out my shop unless you know things like this were done. It'd play on my mind. I'd probably lose sleep over it. Excuse me. I'd have to. God, I'm sweating in here today. Um, right. So they look a little bit neater now, and that's what it's all about: making your item the best you can with what you've got. Um, as always on the videos I did put try to put up, always whenever I use these, I'll be using it again in a second, but I always dab it in, the, in a bit of water, which is just out of camera, and give it a clean. Every time it's in the dye I'll give that brush a clean like that, so it's fresh ready for the next one. Um, it's just a habit I get to. Also, um, I did do this before, I'll do it again because I don't think I'm ever going to get them up. Whenever I've used my punches, as soon as I've stamped that all, I'll take my scratch all, I'll punch out that excess leather inside, straight to the beeswax, just a light coat of beeswax on the end of the... Um, when you come to do your next hole, this will make a massive difference, um, plus it keep your tools perfectly, um, they'll last a very, very long time if you keep them like this. I also give mine a, a, stro uh, a strop in, on a leather strop, which keeps them nice and mirrored and polished and all these things make a, a you know a big difference when you when it comes to your leather work it makes the process a lot easier a lot quicker um, plus it aids the, um, aids the life of the tools which is important right so what we'll do now we'll take this Chicago screw or sex bolt and we'll pop it in um, to its hole what we're looking for here is we're looking for the right amount. We'll pop the knife inside as well. We get that closed up and we'll get the uh, vertical adapter strap. Like that. And we'll pass that through. this okay now we want just enough 
Should go a bit less than that. Okay. We'll get that on there looking nice and neat. Oh, it's hard to show you these things on camera. Right, so what we're going to do now is we'll gently take this back out and then you're left like that. I'll get my scratch all and I'll mark. Probably have to show you the process, what I mean with the punch now. Right, so that's marked with the scratch all. So I'll take my punch take the hammer that I'll use this is a brass hammer which I added you know a leather as I do with a lot of more stuff look uh, this one's for you John what I mentioned to you about um, your smooth faced hammer um, which is indispensable I have a few of these I look I said, I've got a bad fetish for these but these tools are just worth their weight in gold with leather work any leather worker leather smith um, who hasn't got, got one of these you need to buy one. Um, the, the tool I use, they're not so easy to get hold of. Um, this is one that I use a lot. It's a handheld um, one. It does the same procedure as the hammer, but it, it, it's a little bit easier to manoeuvre because it's in your hand. I also use that for burnishing um, and stuff. It's fantastic. Um, I can't remember what these are called. I've had this for a long time. Um, anyway. Okay, um, I've got another few tips and tricks for you as well regarding um, strap end punches and stuff as a cheaper alternative to, you know, a lot of my tools are uh, Joseph Dixon tools, um, you know, which are very expensive. But if you do it, you know, like me, um, for a living, then th these things are, are worth in investing in. But um, there's a way around not having to pay them type of prices if you use a bit of eBay and a bit of initiative but that's for another video um, right so we'll punch this hole make sure it's centered excuse the shaking as the camera's nearly fell off <laughs> right I'll lock that up a bit more okay Right, we have the hole right on both sides. Um, what we'll do now is, we, like I said, we'll take the scratch all, we'll pop that bit of leather out, pop it in. I'm going to use this again in a second, but you, I mean, you can do a few holes. I'm just trying to get you the procedure. Normally, I'll finish doing what I'm doing because I'll have another one to do here in a minute. But you take your um, beeswax, give it a little twist, it's ready for next time. Just get used to doing that all the time, even with your strap end punches and your tools. It will make a massive difference and um, it will definitely prolong the life. Right, so what we want to do now is we'll offer this up and uh, see how we've got on. Sometimes I have to take this off um, to get the initial bond between the two. Um, but once that's done then it's fine. Uh, we'll try and do it with it all on together at first. We'll see how we go. I think I will have to, but we'll try it. Sometimes it's a bugger just to grip. Once it's gripped. Right, okay. So what we'll do is we'll run it into here first. I've done this so if people ever struggle with these um, using this type of hardware or you know because you don't want them too long they're pointless then you want them to you know be pulling the, the item together basically this will help just compact that down a bit it will also help do what I said burnish the inside because it's twisting inside oh it's a nightmare in here without my fan on it's a bit too noisy, as you can see, I think. That's how it's burnished that and, you know, it's really neat now. Um, I'll take these off a minute and we'll try and sort this out. I think it still might be a bit tight. Right, 
there we go that's what I wanted done okay we'll pull these up now okay perfect okay so we will put this back through like that we'll put this one on we'll put that back on Take the knife out a second and we'll assemble this now. Okay. Get in there, okay. Excuse me. Should be able to get this to nip up now. There we go. Done. Okay, right, so we have that. Okay, next strap. Same procedure. Um, we'll cut that excess, we'll cut all that excess off in a minute. Um, get your brass six bolt. The reason why it's called a sex bolt is because the male and the female enjoy screwing. <laughs> right. Well, that's why I think they named them that as well, anyway. I can't think of any other reason. If you lot can, put it on a postcard. <laughs> I'm only joking, lads. I'm in one of their boots today. Right. Okay, let's get that done. Probably could have cut that down a little bit more, but it'd be fine. Okay, we get this looking something like. Don't need the knife for this because at the bottom because it doesn't pressure the sheath out at all. There, as it does with the top here. Um, We'll get that nice and square. Sorry lads if I keep going out of frame. I'm just trying to concentrate. You'll have to excuse me, I'm sorry. Um, let's put that cap back on. Because that's been really nice. a pot of dye everywhere. Right, anyway. Okay. Um, same procedure again. Make sure there's enough at the gaps. So these are equal. If that makes sense. And... Take this out gently. We just give it a little mark with the scratch all. Take this off. Okay, and we'll do the punch again. Find the hot, find the, your mark. Excuse the shaking. There goes the camera again. Okay, um, right, scratch all, push the excess out, beeswax, little twirl, back in its own, ready for next time. Okay, we need to sort this bit out. Right, I'm not going to bore you with this anymore, you've seen the procedure I've gone through with that one, it's going to be exactly the same. Um, I'll cut you off now and uh, I'll bring you back when I'll, we'll come to trim these bits and we'll come to sort this edge out. Yeah. Okay, take care, I'll see you in a minute.